They are now openly rooting for a terror attack before the election because they believe that it will help Joe Biden be defeated by Donald Trump. Who is they? The usual suspects. It's Hannity. It's Lindsey Graham. It's others. This isn't the only example. We they often couch it as concern trolling predictions. You know, I'm really worried that with the way things are going with Biden and how no one respects Biden, that our adversaries are going to see this as an opportunity to attack us on American soil. And of course, the more you talk to them about it, you realize it's actually a wet dream about what they see as a path for Donald Trump to defeat Joe Biden in November. Terrorist attack that they can blame somehow on Biden hurts Biden and lets Trump win. Here is Sean Hannity again. It's something really bad is coming. It's going to be 9 11 or worse. They've been saying this since Biden became president. It's almost like they want it to happen. When you have all of these people coming from our top geopolitical foes with ties to radical Islamic terrorism, that there are terror cells in this country and 9 11 or worse is coming. Now, it's not a matter of if to me, it's almost a guarantee. I hope and pray to God I'm wrong. I right. don't think I'm wrong. I've been saying it over and over again. When you have all. So he is saying this because they are increasingly of the belief that something major needs to happen for Biden to lose. And they aren't wrong. Obviously, hoping and praying, as Hannity says, for Biden to be completely incapacitated at next week's debate. That would help them. I'll be honest, if Biden really just can't even orient himself to what's going on at the debate, it will be bad for Biden. I don't expect that to happen. I think it's as likely or more likely it happens to Trump. But the other possibility is that there's an attack they can blame on Biden and say, this is why we need the strength of Donald Trump. Now, as far as the implied notion that the individuals who would commit these attacks would come over the US Mexico border. If only we had a bipartisan plan to enhance security at the border. Oh, right. We did. And Trump said, kill it because Trump wants to keep this as an issue to run on. If they fix the border issue, then Trump can't run on fixing the border issue anymore, which, of course, proves that they're not really serious about protecting the country from what they claim are the threats. All they really care about is winning elections here. And it needs to be made very clear that they see one of their best paths to winning as having an attack take place where there is loss of life that they can blame on Joe Biden. And it's disgusting. And this rhetoric really highlights how desperate they are. They have a I'm using a charitable word here. Trump is a lackluster candidate. They have a lackluster candidate at the top of their ticket who's increasingly losing his mind, who can't remember anything, who's been convicted on 34 felony counts, has three more criminal cases against him has been found civilly liable for sexual assault with a judge, which a judge said meets the New York definition for rape. And they want to replicate Rudy Giuliani's surge in popularity after 9-11. There is a risk, though, and you might know what that risk is. Bush and Giuliani were in office at the time of 9-11, and their surge in popularity came from Americans rallying around those who were our leaders at the time. Obviously, the risk to an attack, uh, other than the fact that it's disgusting to hope for an attack, right? I'm, we're putting that aside for a second. There's a political risk to hoping for an attack while Joe Biden is president. And the risk is that instead of saying, oh, an attack happened under Biden, we have to now vote Trump. The risk is that the country actually rallies around Joe Biden. They are counting on the fact that if there is an attack, they will be so able to successfully pin it on Biden. I guess because they're assuming it'll be someone who came over the border and Biden didn't secure the border and we can blame him for it. But there's a risk. And the risk is if such an attack happens, obviously this close to an election, it's hard to predict. But that if such an attack happens, the conventional wisdom used to be war or terror attacks <clears throat> help the incumbent no matter who that incumbent is. So I don't even know if it would work, but these people are desperate. Their priority is not the safety of the American people. Their priority is not what's best for the country. It's what's best for their party. And Hannity has always been a what's best for my party type of guy. It's disgusting. It's completely disgusting. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book, 
think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackmancom slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, read them with the kids. davidpackmancom slash book.